Hello, my name is Anthony Peterson and I'm a clinical pharmacist at Mariman Health. As a part of the Not Scary to Carry campaign, I'm here to explain what opioids are, why they're important, and what an overdose looks like. I'll also explain what naloxone is, why it's important, and why it's not scary to carry. First, what are opioids? Also known as painkillers, opioids are used to treat moderate to severe pain. Opioids are commonly prescribed for injuries, surgeries, and end-of-life care. Some prescription opioids that you may be familiar with are hydrocodone, oxycodone, morphine, codeine, fentanyl, and tramadol. Opioids can make people feel high and relaxed, which is why they are sometimes used for non-medical reasons. Illegal opioids such as heroin are chemically similar to prescription drugs, so it is highly addictive and has many side effects, including overdose. Opioid pain relievers are generally safe when you take them as prescribed, but misuse of prescription medications including too much, too frequent, or combined with other substances such as alcohol can put someone at risk for negative side effects. It could be your grandma taking an extra dose because she forgot if she took her morning medications. Or your friend who took an early dose because their back was hurting way too much. Or it can be someone you know who uses heroin. Most opioid overdoses are accidental and it has the potential to happen to anyone taking pain medication or using illicit drugs. So it is important to know how to respond. What does it look like when someone is having an opioid overdose? Generally, a person has a trouble responding or waking up, slow or no breathing, small or pinpoint pupils, blue or purple fingernails and lips, and slow and weak heartbeat. If you see someone that has these symptoms, please call 911 right away. Then, use your naloxone, the opioid overdose reversal drug. It comes in many forms, such as a syringe, nasal spray, and auto injector. For the nasal spray Narcan, you just peel, place, and press. Peel off the packaging, tilt the person's head back, place the spray into the person's nostril. Press the plunger firmly until all medication is dispensed. Remember, Narcan only works temporarily. The person may continue to overdose, meaning they could need a second dose and professional medical attention immediately. Now that you have used Narcan, give rescue breaths, but only if you feel comfortable. Tilt their head back, pinch their nose closed, and give one slow breath every five seconds. Continue until they can breathe on their own or help arrives. If they are breathing on their own and still not conscious, don't give rescue breaths. Turn the person onto their side into the recovery position. Stay with the person until help arrives. If they don't wake up after a few minutes, give them a second spray of Narcan. Kits should have two doses of the nasal spray in it. Once the person starts to wake up, they may be confused, upset, or uncomfortable. Naloxone can put people in withdrawal. Do not allow them to use any other drugs, wait for help to arrive, and stay calm. It's not scary to carry naloxone. It's safe and can save a life. Easily keep it somewhere at home, in your purse, or any temperature stable location. Like wearing a seatbelt in a car, bringing sunscreen to the beach, or having an EpiPen at your favorite restaurant. We carry it even if we don't need it. Make our community safer by carrying naloxone. More resources and where to get free naloxone are available at panhandlehealthdistrict.org.